kitchen. So I decided to do something a little different with the chicken this evening. I'm gonna do a oven buttermilk baked chicken. And I'm gonna do something really special with it. So to start off with, one of the unique things about my buttermilk oven baked chicken is that I've taken cornflakes, I put them in a Ziploc bag, and basically uh, took a, a, a rolling pin and rolled them to create uh, the bread. I add some Parmesan cheese, then I got some thyme. It's probably about, I say about a tablespoon of thyme. So we're gonna throw that in. We'll give it a little mix, just kind of toss it around. So now we're gonna create the dredge process. And the dredge process starts off, you know I told you it's buttermilk, oven baked chicken. So we add some buttermilk, add some lemon juice. Then I want some onions, y'all. So I'm just gonna slice these. like so, break them up, throw those in there, just like that, I got I to tighten it up a little bit y'all, so I got a little hot sauce, um, we want a little salt, a little pepper, something real quick, you can do at home, doesn't take a lot. I'm going to smash some garlic, and I'm just going to smash it. One way of smashing garlic, just take the back end of your knife, bear down on it, throw those in. I'm going to do about three of these. Just like that. I'm going to tell you something. Ain't nothing like cooking something special for my beautiful wife, my kids. And wait, later on, my kids going to come out. And my baby girl, Ariel, who was just about to eat anything, She's going to come out, and they're going to be my tasters. All right? So I put my salt and pepper in. I made my own seasoning, but any store-bought seasoning that you want to buy, a Lowry's or a McCormick or any of those kind, then we're just going to whisk this, just like this. We're gonna... Now, I'm going to use chicken drummies. My wife loves chicken drummies. She loves the dark meat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these drummies and we're just going to put them in our buttermilk. I got my pan that I'm going to bake them in, sit it here. I always like to spray my pan so it doesn't stick. Now typically, if you want to, just cut down on time the night before. If you know you want to do this, make your liquid. Use a bigger pan, put all of your chicken in the fridge. You can use it, you can keep it uh, overnight. Then we go in here into our flakes or our bread. I tell people all the time it ain't nothing like coming home in the evening putting a quick meal together for your family. Um, toss them around. These cornflakes really add a good flavor to it, y'all. So I'm gonna wash my hands, y'all. I'm gonna throw these in the oven. They're in the oven at 400 degrees, which I've already preheated. And we're gonna bake them for about 45 minutes. When I come back, we're gonna throw down on some garlic mashed potatoes. All right, y'all, so the chicken is in the oven, it's baking, it's doing its thing. Now we got to throw down on these garlic mashed potatoes. So I got my pot here, and to start off with any mashed potatoes, you know, you gotta have some butter. I got my butter in my skillet. I'm gonna add some heavy cream. I've already cooked about two pounds of red potatoes, which I cut into quarters and I boiled earlier. I'm gonna turn her off. So we've got it all mixed. I've got my two pounds of red potatoes. That's Ariel, y'all. It's almost dinner time. 
And so my potatoes are going in. The other thing that I did, we said garlic mash. Ariel, can I, can I do the show? Just let me know if I can finish preparing your dinner. She doesn't care. She just, she, she just rolls with it. So I told you guys that uh, it's garlic mashed potatoes. So I roasted a garlic. And if you've never roasted a, a whole garlic head, you just take your garlic, you put it in a little foil, you drizzle it with olive oil, you, you slice off the top so the olive oil gets in, salt and pepper, and you roast it. Then when you roast it, after you're roasting it, then you just squeeze, and all of the garlic comes right off into the pot. There's nothing left to do but mash. And of course, most of the time when I mash, I got a helper. And he's my son. He loves to get in the kitchen with me and cook. Aisha! Uh-oh, here he come, here he come. Hey, buddy, stand up here. I need you to help me mash these potatoes. So, um, scoot on over. Here, get down off of your head. Y'all, he ain't tall enough, so we got a little, I like to call him his little step stool to make him tall. All right, so then we just mash like that. All right. All right. Typically, what I like to do is add cream or milk to my mashed potatoes as needed so that I got the right texture and thickness. But if they are a little runny, like these look like. Do they look a little runny to you? They look runny. Yeah, but they look a little runny. So what we do is, if you ever just turn them out really good. It's a pound of white chicken. Huh? It's a pound of white chicken. You just like chicken. We already know. No, no, it's pound of white chicken. No, but these are, these are good mashed potatoes. So what we can do, y'all, you can always just throw them back on your heat and allow them to thicken up just a bit, just like that. Last thing I forgot, you always want to season your potatoes. So y'all know I got my piggies. Are you going to season them? Come on over. Here, let's do this here. Let's bring it over here. Here. Now, how did I tell you? Stay high. Stay high with it. Now I need you to put some pepper in. Can you put a little pepper? Stick your finger in it. You, you don't want to? It's not going to bother you. Just a little. Just stick your finger on in there and sprinkle high. Sprinkle high. Sprinkle high. That's a boy. That a boy. That a boy. Then we stir these around. Now, Angel, what we're going to do, you can always thicken them up by just turning them back on. All right, so now, What's your favorite meat? Chicken. Chicken? <laughs> I told y'all this house is a chicken. This house, this house is growing wings. It's going to be plucking eggs around here before long. All right, so we got to go to the oven, and we got to get the chicken out. You want to go to the oven with me and get the chicken? That's You need, you want to grab those? All right, you grab them? He, he got to get his mitts, y'all. All right, Aisha. Come on. You going to put your fingers in them? I told y'all, my house is something else. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, dude. Hold on, hold on, hold on, dude. You ready? Ready. Right, let me pull it out just a bit. You grab this end, and I got this end. We're going back. We're going, I got it, I got it, dude, I got it. It's a little burned. It ain't burned, man, it's just cooked good. What are you talking about? Get back up on the stool. That's why I don't like him to be in my kitchen all the time, y'all. Don't tell me something. I was cooking hey, before he was even thought of. Hey. Here, move these out the way. Now, we need somebody to taste the chicken. Yeah. Who are we going to call? Mommy, if you notice, y'all, the potatoes, they, uh, now they thicken up perfectly. Just like that. Hey, daddy, baby. You you want to taste? I'll be the taster. You gonna taste it? Is it good? I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. Anytime, guys, that you want like a baked fried chicken, you cannot lose with 
Pat's buttermilk oven baked fried chicken because it's as crusty as a fried chicken. It's got a good crunch to it. And of course, my wife, I have to blow yours too. Y'all, Yo, did I not introduce my beautiful family? This is my amazing, the most amazing woman on the earth, my lovely wife, Tamika. My beautiful daughter, Ariel, and my son, Aisha. And I spend most of my evenings, uh, a lot of the evenings when I have uh, the time coming home preparing great meals for them. So we're going to add a salad to this, and uh, we're good to go. You going to taste? Not me. I, I don't want to taste it, though. Mm, Ariel, it's so good. You going to taste? I, I don't want to eat. You want to taste? I don't want no potatoes. I want no potatoes. I know. You want chicken? Yes. And the salad. Yeah. And the salad? We're going to make the salad in just a bit. Chicken is good? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good? 